If a bobcat in your backyard is shocking, imagine a penguin or kangaroo sitting next to you on a plane. If you're traveling in the U.S., it's becoming more likely that you'll see more than just a dog on board. An increasing number of people are registering pets as emotional support animals for all manner of medical conditions. But some flight attendants fear pets on planes could pose a risk to passenger safety. Arthi Pohl reports. Waddling through the aisle. A few years ago, animals on planes may have been a bit of a novelty, but lately, it's become a nuisance. Dogs might not be unusual, but some passengers get creative. Kangaroos, birds, rabbits, any pet you can name. People can bring chickens, uh, many bring pigs. In fact, last fall, U.S. Airways kicked a woman off a flight because her pot-bellied pig was misbehaving. These pets fall under the category of emotional support animals, or ESAs. A federal law allows support animals to board a flight with owners without being in a carrier. What passengers require is a letter from a mental health professional saying they need the pet in order to fly. The law applies to nearly every species you can think of. With that, your pet travels for free, avoiding the $125 fee to place them in a carrier as your cabin luggage. But flight attendants say things can get wild. I would say dozens of instances where uh, planes have returned to the gate, uh, passengers have unruly pets, dogs may be snapping at other passengers. Unlike service dogs for those with disabilities, not all ESAs are trained in the same manner. Complaints about support animals are reportedly on the rise, and it's become easier to get medical approval for ESAs. Online, there are sites that ask some questions and then charge a one-time fee in order to receive a doctor's note that gives people approval to carry their pet on board for a year or longer. The passenger has to take precedence over the animal, um, but I also know if I had the opportunity to carry my dog in my lap, I would. If it's little, or it should be in a cage under the seat. More than just being a nuisance to some, flight attendants believe the increasing number of animals on planes could jeopardize an emergency evacuation, as the pet may not be trained on how to handle an air travel emergency. Some flight attendants wonder if perhaps it's time to revisit the law on emotional support animals to make flying more safe. Arthi Pohl, Global News, Washington.